And then when I was 20 years old, I was pulled over. Uh, my buddy Chad in Oregon, he's, you know, Chad's never heard this story. Um, I was pulled over and the cop found my fake ID that made me 21 and my real ID that showed that I was 20. And he charged me with giving false information to a police officer. I'm guessing you're talking about your conviction for the little incident in 1995. The one where you got two days in jail and 18 months on probation? Interesting. I remember that you were specifically told not to violate any laws during that time, not to drive without insurance, and not to drive without a license, something that you have struggled with quite a bit. Why? What was so hard about having a valid license or a registration or insurance, Chili? The world may never know, but I can tell you this. Chili made it just over six months before he forgot he was supposed to learn from his mistakes. For more information on that, we turn to our field reporter, Rhett Porterfield. Rhett, I understand you have a letter written by the prosecuting attorney. Do you mind reading it for us? Facts proving probable cause to issue an arrest warrant are contained in the police report of Officer Brian Dale of the Gladstone Police Department. That report reflects that on December 31st, 1995, he stopped a vehicle for failing to obey a traffic control device at 99 East and Glen Echo, public highways in Clackamas County, Oregon. Upon contact, the driver identified himself as Chad Mitchell with a date of birth of November 3rd, 1973. The driver indicated he forgot his license at home in Oregon City. Officer Dale issued the driver a citation under that name on or about January 12th, 1996, Officer Dale was advised that a person named Chad Mitchell came to the Gladstone Municipal Court to explain that a friend of his, Jose Maria de Castro, used his name during a traffic stop on December 31st, 1995. Officer Dale subsequently contacted Chad Mitchell, and Mr. Mitchell told him that Jose Maria de Castro gave him $20 for his license. Attempts to contact Jose Maria de Castro were unsuccessful. Officer Dale was told by former roommates of de Castro that he had left town. Thank you, Rhett. Riveting stuff. Weird that Chili forgot all about that, considering he fled the state to avoid spending the remaining year of his probation in jail. Am I wrong, Chili? Sue me.